There we go, Mr. Vanda, Mr. Wanda. Somebody cut a fart open the window for Mr. Wanda. 8.58 in the morning. Good morning, Double R Radio Tuesday morning, July the 24th. Those me and Danzy Ocho. By the way, I'm going to give you all a heads up, man. I'm going to be going on vacation. Let me hear. I'll be going on vacation. Um, actually starting... Um, right after my morning show, I'll be doing my birthday morning show, August the 10th, Friday morning. Then after that, I go on vacation, and I don't come back till only Sunday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I don't come back till Thursday, I don't think, unless I'm, I'm having a whole lot of fun. I'll stay a couple more days, but I'll be going on vacation there, and woohoo! Definitely looking forward to that. So, like, I don't think that the radio station has gone out of business. No, I'm just going on vacation. I take a vacation once a year, there you go, and uh, well, I uh, will be doing my morning show, my birthday morning show, Friday morning, August the 10th, so I can join me and help you celebrate my birthday in the morning, there we go. Anyways, uh, 8.59 in the morning, um, it is time for question of the day, let's do some good morning shout outs here. Good morning shout outs to Mr. Manuel Rios, good morning Yvette Charo, good morning Leroy Urbazo, Maravilla in the casa, good morning, All right, Leroy, check this out man, I'm going to give you all a fun fact here, Leroy from Maravilla. He's got his own liquor store. It's either Pleasanton or Floresville. I'm sorry, dude. I forgot which one it was, but he's got his own liquor store. So look, if you're looking for some good liquor, good price liquor, you talk to the man, Leroy or Basil, man. He, he's got all the liquor you need. Actually, that's what I told my prom date back in 78. <laughs> I got all the liquor you need, baby. Good morning, shout out again to Brenda Silva. Good morning, Deborah Camarillo. Marianne Valencia. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is time for question of the day. Uh, but before we go there, um, let's see here. Check this out. Crazy story. A North Carolina woman captured video after she was surprised to find a bear inside a dumpster well this woman was cleaning out an office she had to go take out the trash right so she was taking out the trash she got to the dumpster she picked up the lid and voila there was a bear in there <laughs> the woman was heard yelling and screaming and screaming and yelling and uh, people thought she was having sex there for a minute but no she actually saw a bear they called 911 and bear officials showed up and and there you go um <laughs> actually this is all true they found the bear working out and they named him Yoga Bear. Nah, not funny. That's not funny, Robert! Yoga Bear! Yogi Bear, Robert! Okay, Yoga Bear, no, he was working out, no, not, not funny. There we go. Leroy Bezzo says, Atacosa, Atascosa liquor in Pleasanton, Texas, eh? There you go. Head on over there and get your bottle of, you're in the area. Stop by there and check out my buddy out, Atascosa liquor in Pleasanton, Texas. He'll take care of you and all your liquor needs. There we go. Good morning, John. I got it to Kimberly and the Volt Flores. Good morning, DJ. Or is Edward? I know you called me yesterday, dude, but um, Edward, uh, some of us work. Uh, <laughs> Edward, some of us work in the morning, dude. So, you know, hey, dude, don't be calling me when I'm working. It's because you got the day off like you normally do. Some of us work for a living, Edward. Calling me when I socialize. Anyways, check this out. This story, man, <laughs> check this out. A South African woman was found alive in the morgue after she was pronounced dead. <laughs> Can you imagine being a mortician, being in there, and uh, you got a body laid out on the table, and uh, you go get a phone call or whatever, and you come back, and that body that was laid out is up, sitting up, saying, what am I doing here? <laughs> Wow! How crazy is that? Let me tell y'all something. This is all true. This happened to me. I'm not lying to you, man. This happened to me. I picked up a girl one night, brought her back to my place, and for a minute there, I thought she was dead. She just wasn't responding. I figured, well, she's dead. Let me call 911. They can pick up the body. And uh, when she heard the sirens coming, she got up and she goes, I'm getting out of here, Robert. You don't do anything for me. And I go, Ma, oh, okay, I'm sorry. I thought you were dead. And there you go. Uh, ah, Edward says, I was going to invite you to lunch. Edward, Edward, let me tell you something, dude. You know, I like Edward. We're buddies. But, Edward, I, I get tired of you taking me out to lunch on the dollar menu. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Enough is enough, Edward. I want to eat something good, Edward. Quit taking me to restaurants with a dollar menu, Edward. 
<laughs> Pobre Edward Wright. Good morning, John. I got to tell Alicia Espinosa. Uh, hola, Coca Cola. I always tell her, Hola, Coca Cola. And she always calls me Pepsi Cola. Could be worse. She could just call me Cola. Right, but she doesn't do that. So, okay. <laughs> Let's keep it right there, Alicia. Good morning, Alicia. Houston, Texas in the house. Now, um, I tell you what. Let me go ahead and get to my question of the day. You know, I want to talk about this. I really, really do. Question of the day. And uh, think back. Think back when you were a kiddo. Okay, good morning, John. I'm going to talk. Armando Frias. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Think back to when you were a kiddo. We had all these. I mean, it's not like today. We got iPads and we got computers and laptops and fire sticks and all the other enchilada, right? Back in the day, there was none of that. So we were kind of, you know, on my end, we play Monopoly. Operation. Uh, what else would I play? Uh, then, then I play with myself once in a while, and then from there after that, after those two minutes, I would play uh, uh, Trouble. Remember the, the game show Trouble? Well, here we go. Who remembers this one though? Back in the day, and this was really, really popular. Question of the day: Did you ever have silly putty as a kid? Think about this. Not really, man. Think about this. Did you ever have silly putty? As a kid, because it can happen, man. I mean, back in the day, I mean, we didn't have too much to do. We really, really didn't. Um, I can remember, I always wanted Silly Putty, but I never had Silly Putty. What I had to do, my dad wouldn't buy me Silly Putty. He wouldn't do it. So what I would do, no lie, this is all true. I couldn't have Silly Putty. What I would do, I would go to the restroom and go poo-poo and just have Silly Putty. Nah, not funny. That's not funny, Robert! Okay, that's not funny whatsoever. Silly potty and silly putty. That's not funny. But really, all kidding aside, this is all true. Good morning, John. I got up to Rosemary Gomez. Good morning. Back in the day, my parents used to have a restaurant. All true. And, you know, tacos, tortillas, and chilenas, and all that. And I really wanted silly putty. I had to have it. Um... So I told my dad, Dad, will you buy me Silly Putty? He goes, I didn't have Silly Putty when I was your age. And I go, man, Dad. I said, Dad, God, can I go out with a girl? I didn't go out with a girl when I was your age. Okay, man. Everything was, I didn't have it. I said, man, Dad, can I have a car? And I didn't have a car when I was your age. Man, Dad, you're tough here. Dad, can I eat a taco? I didn't have a taco when I was your age. Man, Dad, it's okay, Dad. Good morning, John. I got up to Dora Peña Rodriguez. Good morning, Cynthia Gonzalez. I mean, it's good morning. So... All true. I wanted silly putty. My dad wouldn't buy it for me. So what I did, you know, they would have masa there to make tortillas and stuff. I got a little ball of masa, right? I got a little ball of masa, and we all know that silly putty, it bounces, right? Silly putty bounces. If you make it into a little ball, it bounces. So I made a little ball of masa, and I threw it on the ground, and it kind of stuck to the floor. And to this day, if you go to that building where my dad had a taco place, you'll still see that little piece of masa stuck to the floor. That stupid masa wouldn't bounce. So I said, well, maybe it doesn't bounce. Maybe it does something else, silly putty does. So what I did, I got a ball of masa, and I kind of like, you know, made it into a little baby tortilla, and I got a comics, right? You know, you get a comic books, and you can put silly putty on the comic books, and you can peel it, and it'll peel off the image of the comic. Well, I got the masa, and I kind of put it on my brother's Playboy. <laughs> and I said, I'm going to put that right here. No, not up there, down here. I'm going right to right copy that baby right there. So I put the masa right down there, you know, where, you know, you know down there. And I, it didn't work like silly putty either. Masa, you know, trust me in this. Tortilla masa does not work like silly putty. Trust me in this. I tried it. I really, really did. So, that being said, what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to give you some surprisingly fun facts about Silly Putty. This is all true, man. I'm not making this up. I found this on the internet. Everything's true on the internet. Good morning, John. I got to Carlo J. Luisa Salazar. Good morning, Brenda Silva. Good morning, good morning. Here are some fun facts about Silly Putty. Did you know that Silly Putty, in the year 1968, Apollo astronauts took it into orbit to secure their tools in zero gravity? I didn't know this. Did you know Silly Putty? Physical therapists use it for rehab therapy on injury hands or injury hands and injuries. I didn't know this. Did you know that some law officials still use Silly Putty to lift fingerprints? 
I didn't know this. I didn't know this. Did you know that with Silly Putty, you can wrap it around a pencil and use it for a grip? I didn't know this. Did you know you can use Silly Putty if you make a few little balls out of Silly Putty to practice juggling? I didn't know this. Did you know that people use Silly Putty They put a thin layer on their thumb so they can count money? I didn't know. <laughs> Did you know that you can use Silly Putty because it glows in the dark? You can use it to uh, to in your home to wrap it around flashlights or candles so you can find things like that during a power outage because Silly Putty glows in the dark. I didn't know this. Did you know that Silly Putty, you can wrap it around your soda can and it will keep it cold like a koozie? I didn't know. <laughs> Man, Silly Putty kicks ass. I'm going to go buy some. Did you know that there's a man who claims he used Silly Putty for a condom? <laughs> no way in the world. There's no way in the world you're going to use Silly Putty for a condom. I don't think so. And I don't think so. I don't see a woman telling me, Hey, Bobby, Bobby, uh, uh, before, you know, we kind of do our thing, can you put some silly putty down there? I don't think I'm going to hear that. I, I don't think so. I wouldn't want to put my trust in silly putty on a condom. I I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Who in the hell makes up stories like that? Anyways, <laughs> wow, I didn't know that you could use silly putty for a condom. Anyway, <laughs> really, man, no way, I don't know, that's, come on, por favor, I'm not going to do that, I'm going to go to a pharmacist, hello, sir, uh, um, uh, do y'all have condoms? Yes, we do. Uh, well, I don't need a condom. Do you have silly putty? Yes, we do. Okay, that's what I need. He goes, uh, sir, uh, don't think about using silly putty for a condom. Sir, I read it on the internet, I can use silly putty for a condom, and I can also use it for a koozie for my beer while I'm having sex. Wow, I didn't know that. Farmers are going to say, let me buy some myself, and there you go. Really, if people knew all the all the, the, the ways you can use Silly Putty, it should sell a whole lot more, man. Really, man, I should be their salesperson for Silly Putty. We'll make millions and millions of dollars. Head on over to Robert Weaver's Internet Radio group page right now and answer me, pregunta por favor. Silly Putty, did you have it when you were a kiddo? Let's keep it going. Let's do something by Joe Tex. I gotcha. 9, 10 in the morning. Good morning, Double R Radio. I'm going to go buy some Silly Putty right now, man. I want Silly Putty. Let me go.